Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back once again to another random video. Uh, this time, uh, well it's not really a video is it, because uh, there's no actual video playing, it's just a black screen. Although it's not really just like a black back, that's actually my computer background because I don't use images on my background because it burns into my television, which I use for a monitor, and that just irritates me. Luckily I got an LCD. So it doesn't like stay forever. I just gotta turn my TV off for an hour or two and it goes away. But it still irritates me when I'm trying to watch something. <sighs> and there's a big old picture of like Gurren Logan or something in the middle of my Warehouse 13 or my NCIS or my Burn Notice. I'm like, oh no, go away, Gurren. I don't want to see you. I've already watched your anime more times than I care to admit. But anyway, um. Ugh, sorry. I uh, right before I started this, I tried something. Uh, if you, if you ever go to a supermarket, they have this stuff called like Mio. It's in this little, I guess, egg-shaped thing. It, it it's a little dropper. You you drop it and it flavors water. Uh, the fruit punch was was pretty good to the point where, uh, I mean, I I would I carry around a, a little thing of the fruit punch with me when I go to work because I work outside. I have to drink a lot of water. Well, I work outside most of the time. Uh, I have to drink a lot of water, otherwise, you know, I die. And, especially in this heat. Uh, if you live in a place where it's not 115, I envy you. But, uh, that's degrees Fahrenheit. That's like, oh god, I had to, uh, somebody, I had to convert that for somebody. No, I, I don't want to pull a number off the top of my head because then you're gonna be like, "No, that's wrong, noob." It's it's not, it's it's, it's not that degree Celsius. I want to say it's like sixty degrees Celsius, sixty-five. Ah, uh, I don't know. Uh, I'm not gonna let that bother me. It's too late at night for that to bother me. It is almost, it is three thirty a.m. in the morning. So yeah. Uh, I'm testing out something, so if my voice, like, goes funky, uh, yeah, I'm testing something out. I'm trying to find a way to, uh, make my videos smaller, and this is one of, like, four videos I've recorded in different games and stuff like this but I figured you know since uh, I would record one with uh, you know I, I wanted to record one with no picture so you know I might as well take it and uh, actually put it up on there because these don't uh, take that long to post since they're, they're usually much smaller because they have no moving pictures but uh, I guess I could consider this a uh, let me ask you questions video, you know, because the thing I like most, honestly, is not subscribers. It's not my internet penis getting larger. Uh, because, let's face it, I'm never going to be internet famous. Never. But, you know... I view this as kind of like a social experiment thing, you know, kind of like you know, what kind of people can I meet? What kind of what can I share with you guys? Because that that's really what I like uh, I, more than anything. I mean, sure, getting a having someone subscribe to me makes me feel good, but what really tickles me is when you guys post comments or send me messages. Uh, more people actually send me messages than they do post comments. Which, uh, it's fine. I, I don't really care. It's not like I have 10,000 subscribers. Or, or 100,000 subscribers or more. I, I, uh, most of the time will individually, uh, talk to everybody that sends me, uh, a personal message. Or, uh, once a week I make it a point to go through and, uh, directly reply to as many comments as possible so yeah I, I like doing that but uh, so you know that's what this video is going to be I, I want to ask you guys some questions and 
you just answer. It's not going to be anything weird like, you know, uh, what bra size do you have if you're female? Or, you know, do you have uh, both boy, girl, and do you have both, both boy bits and girl bits? Are you one of the special few? Uh, okay, that was a little weird. I, I apologize. I'm going to blame that comment on it being 3.35 in the morning. So, just forget I said that. Uh, and let me just ask you a couple questions. I can't really think of anything to ask. So, let's just go with the obvious stuff and just talk about, I, I guess, the Let's Plays. So, I guess the first question that comes to mind immediately is, what was your favorite game that I've Let's Played? Uh, you know, because I, I started with Saga Frontier, and then I went to Breath of Fire, I think Breath of Fire 2 was the second one. And then after Saga Frontier, I think I did Final Fantasy Tactics, which H.C. Bailey is doing now. And uh, and I've said this before, ain't no LP like H.C. Bailey LP, because that man has way too much free time to prepare so his stuff is always awesome so you know uh, don't watch my LP go watch his so what's your favorite LP that I did uh, let's see what made you subscribe to me uh, a lot of people tell me that uh, they like listening to my voice that it soothes them which is weird because I think I have a very I'm a pretty big guy like I'm over six foot one I'm almost six foot two I am like with my shoes on I am like literally six three okay I, I tower over most of the people I, I I know I'm not like freakishly tall or misproportioned or anything but I and I, I have really broad shoulders I've really uh, just, I'm just a real thick guy. I mean, I am a little overweight too, but even if I wasn't, I'd be a big guy. Um, of course, you know, who isn't overweight nowadays? Uh, but I get told a lot that, that, that I, I don't know, but for my size, you know, I have a very, I think, I, I think I have a very high voice, uh, Which is, you know, I, I don't have, I, I wish I had one of like, I wish I had like a James Earl jo Jones voice, but I don't. I have more of a, uh, or let's just say I get called ma'am a lot pulling through the drive through at uh, McDonald's. So anyway, um, but I've been told my voice is soothing, that, that I, I'm at, uh, they, they like to throw me on in the background and just do something else. My voice soothes them. I've had that told to me. Uh, I've been told that they I, I they subscribed to me because I was so modest. Uh, like you know, they's like most LPers are. Uh, and I was such I was such a good sport. Is what I've been told. Uh, one guy said that I uh, was. I think it was the person that said that I was soothing. That uh, most he says like most LPers just yell and scream and holler holler and. And are all highly energetic, but you're you're just so soothing. It's like I'm like okay. It's like apparently to that guy, I am like whales crooning. But uh, so you know, I'd like to hear why you subscribed. Uh, you know, I guess that kind of se segues into the uh, you know. Is there anything I do that you really like? Anything that I do that you really don't like? Uh, for example, I've been told that sometimes, especially in my early videos, uh, I make a conscious effort not to do it nowadays. Like, I'll actually, and, and the fact that YouTube doesn't have such, doesn't have a strict, like, time limit anymore, it helps with that, you know. I can, I can have a 16, 17 minute video and find a good place to drop off and do a you know, a cutaway, uh, you know, a cliffhanger, if you will. You know, I, I could find a logical stopping point. Whereas before, you know, like back when it was 10 and a half minute, or t 11, 10 minutes, 59 seconds was the absolute limit. So back then, uh, you know, if uh, there wasn't a good stopping point, 
you know, around the 10 minute mark, if it didn't appear in that one minute, in that like extra minute, it was like, okay, just chop it off at 10.59 and, and let's go. And I've been told that, you know, some of my, uh, my decisions about that were pretty abrupt, but, uh, most of that was me just, you know, editing the videos really, really fast, you know, because, because of the way I record, I'll play in large chunks, so I'll have, uh, you know, three or four, but usually I play for about three hours at the time, so I'll have three hours of footage to, you know, edit through. And, you know, that's a lot of footage to edit through. Another complaint I've had is I don't cut out random battles, but uh, for some games, for RPGs, that's like the meat of the battle, and that's the meat of the game is the battles. So, you know, I, for some games I can see cutting out the uh, battles to be a good idea. Uh, for other games, not so much. Like Breath of Fire 3, I think the random battles are interesting enough to, to have kept in. Although, I will agree with that one guy. I should have cut out the back, some of the backtracking. Let's see. Saga Frontier would have been a good game to cut out random battles. Uh, the first time I ever cut out random battles was actually in Infinity, Infinity in uh, Breath of Fire 2. So, you know, and that's where I found out that it is not fun to cut out random battles. And I guess the last question is uh, just kind of a freeform question. Uh, if you could pick one game, one game for me to LP, what would that be? It can, uh, you know, I'm, that doesn't necessarily, you know, just think of it as a dream game. Like, you know, like, if you actually like my videos and like listening to me, uh, you know, what game, and, and you guys know pretty much the level of preparation I put in a game. I don't put like a super lot of preparation into a game, but I like to, you know, at least not leave myself wide open to having to wander around for four hours trying to figure out what to do. So yeah. So yeah, I mean, you could just po you could post any game you want. It doesn't necessarily mean I'll play it, but you know, I'd like to hear. And you know, if you can, maybe you know, put a little why you would like to see that game played. I mean, you know. Uh, somebody did ask me once uh, if why I didn't play more popular games, and I'm like, these, but these games are awesome, you know. And I, I don't know. I, one thing I noticed that, like, uh, I noticed that there's, like, f about five games that everyone has on their LP list. I don't have any of them on my LP list. They have them on their LP list, and that when they do them, they'll jump up to over a thousand subscribers. And it's usually Secret of Mana, Chrono Trigger, Final Fantasy VII, or VIII. And then, uh, some kind of like, well, well, that's that's pretty much it. Just, just big RPGs like that, you know. Which I told myself I was never going to do uh, a mainstream Final Fantasy game. And by mainstream, I consider you know like Final Fantasy. Uh, Four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, and thirteen to be the mainstream games. Uh, well, and one. Well, not necessarily one. One's not so bad, but the other ones just have gotten so much overexposure. So yeah, especially four. God, how many times has that game been remade? But anyway, uh, that's a good time to stop, I guess. I've been rambling on for a while. Uh, so, you know. Like I said, it was 3.30 when I started, and it's been 15 minutes. So, heh, I'll see you guys later. Bye.